Today we have the Haybike Tyson Folding Fat Tire E-Bike in our hands. Now you might be thinking, another Folding Fat Tire E-Bike? Well, we know, you've seen plenty of these recently, but we chose this bike to review because Haybike has put some unique twists on things this time. Despite a few drawbacks and compromises in the Tyson, it manages to cross the finish line with a commendable value. So watch this video till the end and get a comprehensive overview of our thoughts on this exciting new folding e-bike. Now let's start unboxing first and see what we have inside. Upon cutting the shipping straps and opening the box, we found two small boxes containing the essential tools and accessories. We carefully removed the protective packaging and took out the bike, placing it upright on the ground. After removing the remaining protective film and packaging, you'll get a smaller box. Now let's see what's inside. Oh, a headlight. Let's not forget the other box. Here we have the pedals, an instruction manual with a toolkit, a charger, a front wheel skewer, and the complete Tyson assembly kit. To assemble the bike properly, you'll need to use multiple tools like a wrench, hex key, and more. But to be honest, it was a lot of fun to assemble the bike. Although it took time, you'll love to do it on your own. Because everything is just so simple and easy. Attaching the wheels, installing the skewer inside the front wheel tube, and installing the protective caps, we love them all. Well, the assembly isn't complete yet. Now you have to place the handlebar under the bike and secure it inside the tube by opening the lock. Adjust it to the right height and center it with the wheel. Then you have to add the fender and attach the headlight by inserting a bolt through the fender mount. Connect the headlight cable and adjust the protective sleeve properly. And now let's move on to the pedals. Make sure you install the right one on each side and tighten them securely with a wrench. Lastly, install the seat and adjust it to your desired height for maximum comfort. At first glance, we were concerned about the bike's weight. 77 pounds is definitely on the heavier side. But when you fold it down, it's a reasonably compact package. That being said, lifting it onto your trunk or SUV might require some extra effort. Yet, considering all the features it offers, including the full suspension, it's a trade-off we're willing to make. If you see the suspension, it's not the fanciest out there, but we love the combination of the hydraulic suspension fork up front and the single pivot rear shock design. When you hit those dirt trails or rough natural surfaces, you'll notice the extra suspension benefit. It's not high-end, but it gets the job done and adds comfort to your ride. Of course, with extra air volume in the tires and full suspension, there's genuine absorption happening, making bumpy rides much smoother. However, we notice that the bike's nimbleness takes a slight hit due to the added suspension, but it wouldn't be a deal breaker for casual riding. Now it's time to take it for a ride and test out its other functionalities to see if it can live up to its name. With a 750-watt rear motor and a robust 720-watt-hour battery in the frame, the Tyson packs some true power. It reaches a top speed of 28 miles per hour in unlocked Class 3 mode. Though we didn't try to push its limit, the claim was pretty much promising. Although it might not be your best companion on hill climbing, on flat terrain it'll impress you on every level. We often rode on flat trails and it performed admirably. However, it struggled a bit during our off-roading tests, but didn't let us down. Speaking of features, we were impressed with the inclusion of hydraulic disc brakes, a premium touch that's becoming more common on mid-priced e-bikes. Kudos to Haybike for going the extra mile and providing good stopping power and enhanced safety. We appreciated that the Tyson comes with lights, fenders, and a rear rack right out of the box. It's clear that this e-bike is designed with both street riders and commuters in mind. The turn signals were a thoughtful addition, although they might be a bit too close together for optimal visibility to drivers. It's a nice touch for extra safety though during city rides. So that was our overall experience with the Haybike Tyson. This bike bridges the gap between off-road capability and practical street commuting. The full suspension adds comfort for nature trails and uneven surfaces, while the powerful motor meets all the needs of speed. Though this bike brand may not have the same reputation as some premium companies, but they've managed to deliver a solid e-bike with a fair price tag. 